Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? It's been a minute. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, um, yeah. So I have been totally stressing out since I talked to you last. <laughs> But uh, I'm trying to stay on the ledge and not fall off the ledge. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> I've been ordering different things that I need for the new shop. Um, I, it's down to crunch time now. And I haven't done a thing. Nothing. <sighs> I kind of went downstairs and briefly looked around to see what we're going to be taking to the shop. We're going to need a bigger truck. <laughs> I only have a, a small space uh, to work with and I've got so much stuff that I want to take. So yeah, I may have to rethink some things. Uh, but <clears throat> um, having said that, I have my first order my big order from the wholesale company is coming today. Finally. Finally. I, ugh, what a fiasco that was. <clears throat> um, on my last video, I think I was telling you guys about it, that there were some things on the order that were out of stock, so they held my whole order. And I was like, no, 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 take, the, take that stuff off and ship the rest. Um, so they did that. And it only took... Well, I ordered it on, when did I order it? I can't remember now. But anyways, it's only taken like four days, five days, four days, five days to get here. Um, wow. <laughs> like, holy cow. Okay, so that makes me and George feel a little bit better because we were really worried that if we decide that we're going to order more or order something else from them, that it was going to take a long time to get here. So, Yay! Uh, for once, UPS is doing their job. Um, so, yeah, so it's going to get here in lickety split time, which is great. I have another company that I'm or I ordered from as a test run <clears throat> to see how long it would take to get that here. Um, not sure what's happening there. They've shipped it, I think, uh, but it's purses. And these, they're boho purses. Oh my God, you guys. I fell down the rabbit hole so hard with this website. I wanted everything. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going, small space, small space. <laughs> you know, it's like, ah. um, so yeah. Uh, so we'll see how fast it'll take for them to get here. <sighs> Other stuff that's coming from Amazon isn't going to get here in time which really ticks me off considering that I pay for Prime. Um, ever since COVID, Amazon has really dropped the ball. You know, has anybody else noticed that? Um, you know, something that's supposed to be a two-day shipping or next-day shipping is like a week. So wh why am I paying for Prime if you guys aren't going to honor it? You know, so I'm just like, whatever. Okay. And the, the problem with that is that the stuff that is going to get here late is my decorations. Um, I've got peel and stick stuff coming with trees and crows and everything. And that's supposed to be on the walls. So, yeah. So I kind of thought, okay, pivot. What am I going to do now? So I had this idea of getting sheer um, curtains and putting them like uh, beige ones and, and blue ones. I've got this kind of this color blue um, that is going to be part of the shop colors. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm thinking beige and blue panels going across the wall and then tying them, tying them um, in the middle, like, so that they come down like this. Uh, and then in between them, I can put pictures and stuff like that. That's kind of where I'm thinking, right? That way I don't have to paint um, and it'll look pretty. 
right? So I'm kind of uh, <clears throat> thinking about that. What else? Um, I got my logo. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so, uh, I still have to take it in and get the words put on it, the My Spirit Raven, but I can show you the raven. You want to see it? It's so cool. I have to get back a little further. Okay. Oops. Hang on. I got to take this thing off here so that you guys can actually see. All right, you ready? Dun, da, da, da. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's huge. It's big. But I'm hoping it's going to work. So it's going to say, My Spirit Raven, whoops, over the top in an arch. So, yeah. So my plan was, oh, I'll show you a picture here of what the outside of the shop looks like. Um, my plan was to put one of these on each side of the door, but because these are a lot bigger than I thought, I may end up having to put it on the inside of the shop at the back wall uh, where my desk is or where my, my cash is going to be or I'll, I don't know I got to measure it out when I get there and see if I can just put one up on one side or like I don't know we'll see we'll figure it out so what do you guys think isn't that cool <laughs> uh yeah so I've got excuse me I've got two of these so we'll see how that goes actually you know what I could probably put one on the outside wall um it goes down the hall and put another logo there. Now that I'm thinking about, oh God, no. Uh, you guys, you would think after all this time, I would have a set um, display, like think, uh, thinking about it and going, okay, this, I wanna put this here, that, no. I am all over the place. I'm not gonna know how I'm gonna do the display until I actually get there. Like setting up the shop, I have no idea. I, I've got some grid walls that I'm going to be getting. I've got some already here. Um, I've got my tables. I've got, you know, I've got some stuff that I could use. But, I mean, the setup that I'm going to have is not the way it's going to stay, obviously. Um, because I'm, I'm planning on next year. When I go out there, I'm going to do a little video for you guys and show you what my plan is. If this goes really well... And I do really well during the summer and winter. Um, I'm going to shut down for January or February because those are the slow months and expand the shop. Ugh. Because <laughs> um, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. Oh, I said it. <laughs> I always have a hard time with precious. Precious. Um, we were talking. And she has um, informed me that she has a wholesaler for yarn set up that she's going to use for her shop. She's opening a shop too, which is awesome. I'm just like so stoked for this. Uh, it's like we're doing it together. It's, like, it's so cool. <laughs> um, so she's going to have this supplier for her yarn and she's going to hook me up. So I'm going to get some yarns put in my shop. Plus she's dyeing specialty yarn for me, for my shop. No, like she's not going to sell it um, at her shop. She's not going to sell it on her channel. This is going to be dyed specifically for my shop. Uh, so um, once she's done that and she, and it's been brought in, uh, if you guys are interested in it, then you can get it through me, but, <clears throat> um, I'm so excited. I've told her that I, for the first run, um, summer, do summer colors, you know, like I'm going to give her the gamut, 
you know, just say, go for it, do what you, you want to do. Uh, and then in the winter, I've got specific colorways that I'm going to discuss with her. So she's got this yarn. It's called zebra yarn. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. If you haven't seen the zebra yarn that she dyes, you need to go to her channel and check out her, her videos because this zebra yarn, I think it's going to go fast. It's gorgeous. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's um, like blank yarn, but it's got a black and black and white spiraled um, yarn through it. And, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Actually, I wonder if I've got, oh, I thought, oh, do, 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 scanning, scanning. I thought I had some yarn that had a similar effect. I think I love this yarn has something similar, but oh, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I think she did one in a blue black kind of, and that's the colors of my shop, right? So I am definitely getting her to do something like that for me. Um, and I'm so pumped. I am, I can't touch the stuff because it's wool. But I'm going to put gloves on and I'm going to admire it. Uh, I, I am stoked. I am totally stoked. So going back to what I was saying, this second part of the shop, it's going to be probably another 5 by 15 feet of shop. <sighs> oh my God. That is going to be a complete yarn room. Ah! I'm just like, I'm so excited. I am so excited about that. This is my dream. This is something that I've been wanting to do for many years and it's finally happening. I mean, between last year and this year, between my grandson being born this year, my great nephew has been, has been born. And last year I got married. Um, Next month is my first year anniversary, wed wedding anniversary with George. We've been together for almost 10 years, but it's our first wedding anniversary. And then the next day is my birthday. <laughs> so we got married on the fourth, May 14th and my birthday is on May 15th. Um, the shop is opening on May 1st, mm -hmm. hopefully. Uh, so I, I am so, my cup is full. It's overflowing. Um, I'm just so happy with everything. Life is finally coming together. It's finally coming together. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm over the fear now of opening the shop, sort of, kind of, um, now I'm into the excitement. I'm also going to be into the panic because, <laughs> ah, you know, um, but yeah, so that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> But I am so excited for when, um, uh, it's the first week of May, I think, that Angela is going to be moving. And then when she's settled and she's going to get her shop set up, um, so she'll have her shop set up probably June or July, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I was so excited for her, to, her and I to, um, to converse shop talk. So <clears throat> mine is going to be... I don't want to say boutique because it's not boutique. It's not high end. It's not, you know, but it's the concept is kind of similar um, where I'm going to have my crochet stuff. I'm going to have my jewelry. I'm going to have some purchased items, wholesale items um, brought in. Uh, I'll show all of that to you guys. I'm going to have purses. I'm going to have the yarnery. I'm going to have Excuse me. I'm going to have little stuff. Like I'm going to show, show you a couple of things that I'm, I'm putting in. I'm going to have my baby sweaters. It's not going to be all crochet, right? So it's going to be, I want to have it so that, um, if kids happen to come in, they have something there that they can get for in, that's inexpensive. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to have my sizes, are going to be very different than what I usually have at my craft fairs because I've got tourists that are going to be coming in. 
um, I'm going to have to have from small to 4X. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be really different. <clears throat> different than what I'm used to anyway. Um, making stuff that is smaller, not my forte. <laughs> I'm so geared towards my size and bigger um, that I just, uh, yeah, trying to figure out how to make something smaller. Because I try things on when I make them. And that's how I gauge how big it is, right? So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, what else? Okay, so. I showed you guys last time, I think it was, a baby sweater that I made. Um, it was this one. Okay. Uh, isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. Um, I, I had to make another one. I, I, I yeah, I had to. I had to. Because it just, I mean, it's so cute. I love it. And it was pretty easy, easy to do. It was quick. It was easy. Um, so I made another one. <laughs> this one I did a little bit different. <clears throat> so here it is. And here's the hood. I put a little thing. I, I'm thinking about doing that on the other one, actually. Right. So... But isn't that cute? And I put the little, these things on it. You guys, I, I have a story about that in itself. But I just love this. I just think it's so adorable. Right. Um, so I'll put the pattern, uh, the video for this down below again. Um, what I used for this one was some yarn I was gifted. It's the I Love This Yarn uh, print. My absolute all-time favorite yarn. Wish I had a whole store full of this. The color is mint tea. Um, yeah. Oh, I just love this. And then for the arms, I used I Love This Yarn Tweed. And this is Ivory Tweed. So, but I think it turned out really well. I think, I, I don't know if you can see the tweed. So, but yeah. So, those are going in the shop. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys, I'm just, oh, don't even know. Don't even know. My brain is like all over the place. Um, Okay, remember I was telling you guys uh, in a couple videos back when I was doing the um, craft show with my sister that I bought these cat's ears, that uh, a cat ear headband that sold like crazy. I did it, gone. Like, okay, so this is what they look like. And these are crystals. Let's see, this one's mine. Um, and it's wire. Uh, I may have found some more. I'm not sure if I can bring, I can't bring them in, in time for the shop, but <clears throat> for the opening, but I can bring them in for later. So, but I can't believe how fast these went. They just, they, it's crazy how fast they went. So I thought I'd show that to you. Um, okay. So <laughs> I started making, I, I started thinking about the kids that come, are going to come into the shop. And I thought, well, I need something in there for them, right? Uh, so I, I thought, okay, we live coastal. We live by the ocean. Okay, let's make some sea animals, maybe? Whales are huge out here. Um, we have whale tours where they go out on these um, boats and they go whale watching. So I thought, okay. So I started making these little whales. <laughs> See, little, little eyes and the little tail, little fins. 
these were so quick and easy um and i was just like oh so i've got them in different the patterns are, are a bit different so but these tails oh my god i can't get over these tails so i've got various some of the, they have different colored eyes and and everything <clears throat> that's one and then i made a pink one I just can't get over these tails. Oh my God. Are they adorable? And then I started thinking, wait a minute. The whales here are orca whales. <laughs> They're so cute. It looks like he's got teeth though. <laughs> but yeah, so I made a couple of these. I'm going to make some more. But yeah, the, the orca whales are the ones that we have. So um, I thought I'd make up a bunch of these. But yeah, I, um, I'm i going to make some more stuff. But yeah, I thought they were adorable. I've, I've got them hold, hold up in my my bowl that my, um, my niece's man, my niece's other half, made for me this bowl i'm telling you guys this bowl is fantastic um i love it i've been using it constantly uh for the cakes just drop the cake in there and we're golden i just love this i want i want more <laughs> oh okay so what am i working on right now this is a whip I don't normally show whips, but I'm excited about this. Um, I happened to come across, I was looking up stitches for summer and this came up, but I thought, well, I don't know. It's kind of thick. It's double stranded. Oh, I forgot to bring the yarn in that I use. Oh, I can show you. Um, but man, when I woke, when I worked it up blah, blah, blah. when I worked it up it is so light and airy I just I'm in love with this stitch and it's so different uh it's easy but it it took me a bit of time to get the rhythm of what I was doing because I'm so used to doing a double crochet and this is like a double crochet an extended double crochet but it's not so um it's so squishy this would make a fantastic baby blanket now oops where am i here that's the bottom it's i'm doing panels so this is the first panel this is the front panel that i've got attached and then i'm working on the second panel um but I don't know if you guys can see the texture on that. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but when you're looking at it, you could, it's almost like baubles, right? But this is, it's not heavy, even though it's double strand, it's not heavy. It's so light and fluffy. This will be great for spring and summer. Um, sitting by the campfire, you throw this on and it's, it's, I just can't even believe how soft and squishy this is. Um, hang on, I'll grab the yarn that I used. Okay. So I used Craft Smart Value from Michaels. Okay. In black. And this is the yarn that I got at Christmas when I got that big order um, from Hirschner's and it's Hobie, Hobie Co, Hobie, Hobie Co. Um, and the funny thing is, is when I got this, I've got it in, I've got it in black and white too. When I got this, I went, holy crap, is that thin, right? And I don't work with thin yarn. It says it's, 
<clears throat> and it comes in packs. Um, I think it was like $8 for a five pack or something. It was a crazy good deal. Um, it says to use a four millimeter hook. Um, it's 100% acrylic. It's in a different language, you guys. I think it says it's a three weight. I don't know. It's in Dutch or something, in Turkish. So I think it says it's a three weight. I mean, it's a thin three, right? So when you mix it with something that is a four weight, um, you would think that it would be really heavy and bulky, but I'm telling you, it's not. With this stitch, it is so light and airy. Uh, I can't even, I can't even believe it. Um, but it did take my brain some getting used to because usually with a double crochet, you go in, you pull up your yarn, you pull through two and then you know, pull through the other two. But with this, you, you don't yarn over before you go into the stitch. You just go in like you're doing a single crochet. You pull up and then you pull through again and again, like you're doing three single crochets on top of each other. And then you're pulling through the two. So it's really neat. And I, I've never thought of doing a stitch like this before, but I'm hooked. I, I love this. I could do a Rwanda with this. I could do like, I could do this, anything you want to do, um, uh, blankets, yeah, you can do it with this stitch and it just gives it such a squish factor. So, um, I'm just, I'm absolutely shocked. And <clears throat> I, when I did this, I thought I did it wide enough for me. But when I started doing it, it kind of went whoop. So that's something to be mindful of. Uh, if you're doing this stitch, I will leave the link down below of the um, tutorial for this stitch. Um, but it's, uh, I, I just love it. But like I said, it takes some time and you have to count how many single crochets you're doing on top of each other. Uh, because otherwise you'll get one that's bigger, one smaller, one bigger. And I, on the sides, I had to kind of change it up a little bit because the, the stitch that she said to go into, for some reason, mine started to shift a little bit and I had to frog out a whole bunch. So I, my placement on the ends is a little bit different than hers and it comes out straight. Um, I know you guys are going to say, do a tutorial, do a tutorial. Maybe one day. <laughs> we'll see. Um, tutorials for me is going to be a little bit difficult uh, because I'm only going to have one day a week off um, from the shop. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm going to be Superwoman and I can do it all. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for me. Um, next week is go time. Next week is when I start doing the setup. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So here we go. All right, guys. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Okay. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to say a huge congratulations to Kimmy from Kimmy's Crochet and Knits. She made the grandma club. Yay! She's going to be a grandma. So I sent her a message yesterday and I was like, God, congratulations. I was so happy. I was crying. I was just like, oh, we can all be in the grandma club together. <laughs> so, so congratulations, Kimmy. I love you. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.